hello friends in this video I'm going to show you how one can create a bank in Oracle fusion cloud as you would know bank is something which is shared across multiple modules you can uh, use a bank setup to make a payment to your suppliers alternatively you can also use the bank setup to receive the payments from your customers so it's both ways it can be leveraged in receivables as well as payables as well as projects so bank is set up and then shared across multiple modules so let's go into Oracle fusion cloud applications and I'm going to go into Oracle cash management cloud and which is where bank is set up and then uh, you set up the bank branch and bank account and then you do further setups based on payables or receivables modules for leveraging your bank setup so in this example I'm going to create a bank and in the next lessons I'm going to create the bank account bank branch and then bank accounts respectively all right so let's go into Oracle Fusion Cloud and take it from there all right so here I am in Oracle Fusion Cloud I have logged in as financial implementation user before I proceed ahead I'm going to show you the release and version we are on so in order to see that simply go to the user and look for about this application It's going to show you the Oracle Cloud application is 21a which is I believe is the latest one at the moment all right having said that I'm going to close this one and then in order to go to bank setups you have to go here from um, either from the navigator or from the user menu and go to setup and maintenance and then you uh, scroll down to cash management if you see one over here but uh, if you can't see your um, cash management or say for example your bank related setups if you don't know where exactly it is then um, what you can do is you can search from here okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for see I'm gonna scroll down and here I could find out the setups that I want to do for example you can go to financials okay and within that you may have something like cash management and banking so click on this one and then you, here you see you've got banks bank branches and bank account related setups but if you don't know the navigation all you can do is simply search by something like bank and hit the search button and it's gonna show you the setup related functions over here okay so you can go from um, this way by searching via the search task option alternatively you can navigate to the bank setup manually okay so I'm gonna click on manage banks here and you see again I will click on manage bank hyperlink so it's gonna open the form for managing the existing bank setup details and that same form shows me on one way it shows me the existing banks so I can click on any of these previously set up bank to update the information alternatively I can set up a new bank so I'm gonna click on this uh, create button to create a new bank and uh, let's say the bank I'm gonna use here is a bank which is in New Zealand so you have to choose a country first to New Zealand so in my case you can use the search functionality if uh, you've got to scroll down too much okay here it is New Zealand so and and once you have set up uh, the, the country or once you have chosen the country then you choose the bank name so I want to set up ASB bank limited and alternate bank name if any so leave that and bank code if there is any so there is a bank code and uh, let's say 
that is 0, 01 or 0, 02 like that you will have it alternatively they could be alphanumeric code as well so I'm going to use a bank code as 1 2 for the bank and here you can set up the bank addresses okay so this is the bank address not the branch address okay so I'm going to create a new address by clicking on this plus icon again I'm going to choose a country over here say New Zealand and then I'm going to choose uh, the address over here so So I'm going to give some address over here, say something like this, 1010 Queen Street, say Auckland Central, and then I'm going to choose the city as Auckland. this one and then the postal code say something like this okay now this address could be different and I guess it is 125 okay and once you're done with that it's created an address for your bank and then you can create contacts so I'm gonna click the plus icon to create a new contact for my bank this and then you can give a phone number over here again you can create a new phone number and you can say purposes work and then phone country code so give uh, say 64 over here which is for New Zealand area code say zero oh, zero nine and then you give a phone number over here something like this okay and any extension so let's say something like this and uh, then you you can add more details such as uh, address of this particular contact and associated email address so let's say email address say adil dot khan at asb dot co dot and just something like this remember this is just a test data it's not actual data okay once you accept with this then you hit the ok button so it's going to save these details okay so as you could see I have entered the basic bank details optionally you can give more details over here such as description taxpayer ID and tax registration number if you know if you don't know you can contact the bank and they can provide you this information then I've created a new address and created a new contact associated the contact email address with this one as well so let's see So this is all fine and then once you're done you hit the save and close button so this particular bank will be created so I've given the code as 1 2 so hit save and close So basically it's saving the bank details in the database so this bank is now saved in the database you hit the OK button and as you could see the top one which is listed over here is ASB Bank Limited which is what we have created you can click the hyperlink again to see that information that you just created and if you wish to edit that information you can use this edit button to go and make the changes and then resave it again so this is the way in which you create a new bank in 
or confusion cloud financials in the next uh, lesson i'm going to show you how you can create a bank branch for this newly set up bank